these three things have in common. Car racing, the gym, and dirt bike riding. Yeah. Absolutely nothing to you probably. But to me, they all make me happy. They're all things that I like to do as a person. They're all things that I enjoy. And they're just kind of an escape from reality for me. So, what is happiness? Happiness can be kind of a factor of three different things. A feeling of satisfaction, which is a mood that you are in. Um, and then happiness is also mainly genetic. Um, circumstantial moods. So, you wake up, you go out, you pull your bowl of cereal, you come out, you go to the fridge, open the fridge, reach in, and there's no milk. That mood is probably going to change from a good morning to now you're having a horrible day. I know a couple days ago I was just trying to enjoy my honey bunches of oats and there was no milk. So I had to run over to the store. My day just kind of started off wrong. Or it could be a good mood. You're having a horrible day, reach into your pocket, and there's a crinkled up $1 bill. What it will buy, probably nothing because everything is so expensive today, but it's just kind of a change in your mood because it'll make you a little bit happier. You found something. Um, decision making based on our moods. So these moods can have a big impact on our life. So I had to drive to the store and get my 100 bunches of votes, and I drove like a pissed off teenager. I drove road rage attitude almost because I was just trying to get there, get the milk, get out of there real quick. So this was a kind of example of a bad mood that you are in, some good moods. If I find a dollar in my pocket when I'm driving and I see a homeless man, I might be a little bit more generous and I might donate my dollar to that homeless man. It's just kind of circumstantial based moods. Um, biological happiness. Now, I was kind of curious about this because I didn't think happiness could be genetic at all. But it is 50% genetic. So in my genes, um, there's actually a little bit of depression. So um, my aunt, my mom have had some like depression episodes where they just kind of get weird. And I kind of get weird like that too, <coughs> ask some people. But it's actually genetic. So that's good, I'm not just weird because I'm weird. Um, so I'll have moods where I just don't know what to do, I overthink, and that's just biological. There's really nothing you can do to change that other than to get yourself out of that mood. Um, internal state of mind. So this is kind of what is going on in your life at this moment. Maybe not even this moment, maybe more of this time frame this week, this month, if you get laid off, you're not gonna be as happy. If you have some good people in your life, if you have a good girlfriend, your mom's not mean to you anymore, you'll probably be a little bit happier. And it's also hobbies. Hobbies are a big factor into your happiness. If you go out and you do what you love every weekend, if you get to go dirt bike riding, if you get to go work out every single day, you're probably gonna be pretty happy. Um, how to evaluate your happiness. So question yourself. I do this once or twice a week. I go out in my underwear, <coughs> sit by my pool, and look up at the stars, and kind of do the men in black thing, where I sit there and I'm like, am I really alone? Am I really happy? And I question myself. I question all the things that I'm doing in my life right now. And I question how I can get better, and how I can make others happier, and make myself happier at the same time. Um, this one is a big one for me. Um, most of the time I'm extremely happy, and you guys might know why, because I go to the gym for eight hours a day. So um, if you do athletic activities, I do a lot of athletic activities, <coughs> such as playing basketball at the gym for another three hours. Um, it's just kind of fun for me. If you go out, even if it's not athletics, if you're involved in church groups, weird hippie groups where you go out and meditate and sit by the pool naked, I don't know. Um, if you
you're in touch with your spiritual side, that can also lead to be happy. So you guys have a cough, too. Uh, build on your confidence, work on your hobbies. Um, so this was actually a picture taken of me a couple weeks ago. Um, I learned how to do a wheelie four summers ago. I built on it, and now I can wheelie over mountains. My dirt bike is actually that big. That mountain is actually that size, so I can just go right over now. Uh, build on strengths. My strengths are my back, my lats. So I can build on my lats, I can make them bigger, I can help grow my body, I can help grow my mind. For calculus, I can grow, I can study, I can practice. And then you can also, it's not just how you take on your positives, it's also how you take on your negatives. Um, if you take on negatives negatively, if you look at negatives negatively, they're gonna keep you down. But if you take them on with a positive attitude, you will be able to conquer them. You will be able to turn them into your strengths. Avoid negativity, yeah, just cut out toxic people. So if you have someone that's doing more harm than good, it might hurt, you might love them, you, but in the end, they might not be good for you and they might be keeping you down. Keep a positive attitude, same thing. And then, like driving, like I said, when I was going to get my honey bunch of boats, I turned on some country music. I was like, wait, it's not that bad. I'm alive, the sun is shining. I don't have the milk for my honey bunch of boats, but I gotta stay calm, and I gotta just kinda take a minute. So to recap, surround yourself with good people. Uh, do things that make you happy. This is kind of about your happiness, not other people's happiness. And while you feel that you might get happiness from other people's happiness, it's not really the same thing. If you like others being happy and that makes you happy, go for it. But you also need to take a step back and then look at yourself. Work in a satisfying environment. There's a picture of here. Have a good day, everyone.